Hello. All right. Here we go. So basically what I did was with my phone, I took a a video of myself with my phone and then screen captured myself. So I'm going to here's one version and here's another version. So I want you to use two, one with your face looking at the screen and one with your face looking away. I'm just double clicking these um, and they're showing here. My composition is still here. And then I've collected some images. I'll show you. Um, a can. I'm going to have this flying through the sky and my I'm going to be dodging it. Um, and there's a cloud, hot air balloon, a plane. I'm just double clicking these. There's a telephone pole and a rat and a sky that's going to be in the sky and a tree. So my composition is right here and the files that I was looking at are right there that I was looking at. Um, so what I'm going to do is show you how to, hopefully my computer doesn't crash, show you how to use the pen tool and cut this out. So I'm just going to do that uh, really quick. Okay, so I'm going to drag, go back to my composition, and I'm going to drag this down. I only need, I need this to fit the screen. So what I'm going to do, when I when I import it, it's bigger than than the screen, so I just need to scale it down a little bit and then make some room here. Click this, fit up to 100%. Now I'm going to use the pen tool with the layer selected. And you can roll your mouse wheel if you need to. Um, you can do this without a mouse. It's pretty easy. I'm just going to go around and click. Every time you click and drag, it makes a curved line. Now if you are using a laptop and you just click and you don't have the curved lines, that's fine. As long as you click yourself out of here and it looks alright, it's fine with me. The pencil is really hard to do with, the, uh, with a mouse. My face is going to look really weird there. Which is fine. I don't care. I'll go back in and fix it uh, when I put the video on pause. So what's important is when you get down to this, I'm zooming in and out. And if you're in class and you need help with this, there's really nothing to do. Just click your mouse and go around and trace. If you're having trouble, just zoom in on whatever it is you're having trouble with. I'm just clicking around a little bit here. If I mess up, <coughs> excuse me, if I mess up a little bit, it's fine. Um, like that. The most important thing is that I go all the way around, do the best that I can the first time, and that I close off this line. And then you'll see what happens. And I can go in and fix it. Inside of here is a I guess I can use this tool here. Uh, it's a little bit different than Photoshop. I can just use the move tool and go in and click on these points. Whoops. Make sure I double click it. Maybe I can't do it with that. Um, what tool do I do it with? Hand tool, do I do it with that? No. Maybe I have to hold control. Shift, Alt. I know if I go in here, I can click on these points, but I don't really want to do that. So just do the best you can. I don't want this to be any harder than it than it already is. Um, I guess I have to double click. There you go. You have to click on the line. You have to click on the path and then you click on a point. So I'm just going to adjust this really fast. So it looks better in the weird parts. That's all right. My nose is pointy there. I don't care. All right, everything else is fine, so I'm going to get out of here, go back to the composition, and I'm going to name, name this Fly1, 
actually just body, I'll name it body, press enter, <coughs> name it body, and I'm going to hide it, deselect it to get rid of those lines, and I'm going to bring in the second one, press S and scale it down, and this one I'm only interested in the face, so I'm going to use the pen tool again, and I'm going to pause the video, can I pause the video? I don't think I can pause. Hmm. All right, I'm just gonna select the head here, and this, this one. All right, I'm gonna name that head. Head one. And I'm going to animate that. First, I need to center the anchor point, so I'm going to press Control Alt Home. Let's see what happens here. Control Alt Home. There we go. That's what I want. And I press S, and I'm going to scale it up from here. And I'm going to flash this face on every once in a while. So it's just going to be a whoop, 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 whoop. Yeah! All right, scale this down, it's a little big. That's fine right there. So I'm gonna turn this off for now, drag this up so I have a little more room. And basically what this project is gonna be is, come on. I'm going to add the sky, let's see, back here. And this is a 30 second project, so I'll go ahead and press Control K and say, I just have 30 seconds. And I need to scale the background up. And for, let's say, 30 seconds, I'm going to have this thing just moving left to right. So I scaled it up so it's about double the size of the ca canvas uh, in length, almost. Let's say. So I'll press S for scale to bring that up, and it's about double the size in length. So I'm going to start the position, so I press P, make sure my scrubber's all the way to the left. And I'm just going to turn it on, and it's going to animate slow. So at 30 seconds, it's going to go all the way over. So I'm just going to move it over now. So it looks like it's moving slow if I were to press spacebar. There it is. All right, press escape to get out of that. And now I'm going to lock that. Close it up so I don't mess that up on accident. And then what I'm going to have flying by quicker in the foreground are uh, clouds. So read the directions. I'm not sure what the directions are going to be yet. Uh, the cloud is going to be in front of him. Um, I'm just making this project, and I'll write the directions afterward. So I'm going to start the cloud over here. Um, so press P, start it. Um, I'm, I'm going to have a little intro, so I guess I'll start this at two seconds. And, and about that long for it to go by, probably a little quicker than that. Again, you can zoom in on the timeline down here. Uh, I want that thing to fly by pretty quick, like he's zooming. So when you press play, it goes whew. Okay, that's what I wanted. Alright, so I'm going to double that again. So I'm going to press Control D, this cloud, and I'll press P so you can see that it duplicates this uh, cloud movement as well. So if I just drag that over, I have two clouds going by now instead of one. I don't have to do anything. Um, but I will move the layer down. Let's. Nah, I don't want to do that. I'll just kind of copy and stagger those. Um, and now I'm going to pre-compose these. So I'm going to select both these clouds, cloud layers, and press Control Shift C pre-compose. I'll call this clouds, clouds one. And I'm going to duplicate that. So Control D, and now I'm going to move it down. So now. I have clouds flying by on this level, clouds flying by here, and I'm going to move these clouds up a little bit. Press P, it'll move the whole layer so it moves all those, the whole uh, layer of clouds. So now instead of clouds going by in the middle, they're going to be coming by at the top. So you'll see there's a cloud in the middle, in the middle, and now these clouds are going by on the top. And now I'm going to duplicate that again, Control D, and I'm going to move these down. So now they're coming by, and I'll stagger it this way a little bit, flying by, and now I'm going to select all these cloud layers and press Control shift d to delete them, 
after that point and I'm going to select these right here control and click I'm going to press control shift C call these clouds now I have clouds in here and I'm going to actually I'm going to control Z that and I'm going to press control D to duplicate these and I'm going to stagger these clouds control D control D I'm just going to press control D so you can see what I'm doing here I'm just making copy after copy after copy of these clouds going by and uh, it'd be quicker if I just select them all the point of this is to have clouds flying by uh, for the entire animation. So I can drag them down here to 30 seconds and now I'll just kind of pick and choose different ones to stagger so they're more consistently flying through here. And then when I'm done with that you see how many cloud layers I have now on the timeline. I have uh, a lot. I'd say about uh, 24 it says. So I'm just going to select them all, control shift C and name it clouds. Press OK. Now I just have one layer so I'll drag this back down so you can see. Um, the whole time there should be clouds flying by. Just ripping by. And uh, my, uh, my person here is a little big so I'm going to select both these layers and I'm going to press S and I'm going to scale them down. So I'm a lot smaller than that, so you can see me flying through here. All right. Now, what I'm going to do in the very beginning is add a black screen. Let's say black. I'm going to double click to add it. And I'm going to animate the opacity going by. So I'm going to press T to, offer, to uh, isolate the opacity, or you can press the expand window and button and open up transform and all this stuff's here or you can just press T. Position is P, scale is S, rotation is R, and opacity is T. So I want this to be black until about, let's say, one second, right, right around one second. Ah, eh, that's a little quick. Some, somewhere, it doesn't really matter as long as it's, let's say, 15 frames. All right, now I'm going to um, turn the opacity on and move the scrubber to the right a little bit and change the opacity to a zero. So when I go to the very beginning, when I press play, it's going to be black for a little bit. And I'm going to drag this so the animation starts at two seconds. So it's going to be black until two seconds. So I'll have a little title here that uh, in the directions I'll have you do in the very beginning. I'm going to lock that. And before I do that, I'm going to name this uh, title screen. All right, now I'm going to go to my body here, and I'm going to move this guy up and down. So that's just position. I'm going to click position, and he's just going to be moving up a little bit. So if I drag the scrubber to the right, and then I use the arrow keys, just up and down arrow keys, he'll kind of be just floating, bouncing up and down. So after I have three of them, I'm just going to press Control Shift. I'm sorry, Control C to copy them. Move the scrubber to the right a little bit. Press Control V, and then I'm going to select them again. Control C, drag the scrubber to the right. Control V. You don't need a mouse for this. It's pretty easy. So I'll select all these, and I'll do that until I fill up the whole Control V until I fill up the whole screen. And if you keep going back and selecting what you've done so far, control C, it'll be a lot quicker. Control V. It's just happy little keyframes that you're selecting. Control C. Drag the scrubber to the right. Press control V. Now we just need a little more here to fill up the timeline. So I'm going to select, let's say, six of them. Press control C to copy them. Drag the scrubber back to the left and control V. So if you play, your happy little person's bouncing up and down. Now when we turn on the layer above it, the head layer, you'll notice that the body bounces, but the head doesn't. We want the head to bounce with the body. So what we're going to do is click the percentage button right here, fit up to 100%. I'm going to click on the head layer, 
with the move tool selected again that's V making sure I don't click on any of those points that I made with the pen tool I'm gonna put the head on the body where it goes now what I'm gonna do is use this little button right here it's called a pick whip what that means is I drag that pick whip to the body what that means is it's gonna follow the body now now what I'm gonna do is animate this head popping on and off when it gets hit with something and when it gets hit we need a little window here so what I'm gonna do is turn the stroke on here use the fill use the pen tool and I'm gonna make you know what here's something I forgot to mention you're gonna wanna make sure that no layers are selected when you do this or you're gonna be putting a mask on a layer so now what I'm gonna do is just make make a shape happy little shape with the pen tool an explosion like Batman and when my happy little person gets hit we're gonna put some text in there alright I'm gonna move these happy little points around just to give a little more space in here for our text so it's not so smothered because it's claustrophobic in order to do this to activate the lines here you have to click on a line then you can click on a point and that's what we want to click on these points okay so now what I'm gonna do is use the text tool and write BAM double click inside the text to select it drag the font bigger now I'll put it in here control at home to center the anchor point to that layer control alt home I'm gonna press R and rotate it just a little bit to the left like that now I'm gonna select this shape layer here with the text selected as well and I'm gonna press control shift C or right click choose name it BAM now what I'm gonna do is hide that I'm gonna turn it off alright those are the directions at the end on Moodle there's gonna be another video that's gonna show you what this animation looks like That's what I'm gonna get the directions from as an example but for this video on how to do what we just did that's it I'm signing off <laughs>